I'm sorry, but if a guy picks me up in certain cars for a date, I'm just not going. Like, I'm just not going. Like, I'm sorry, but you can't tell me if someone pulls up in this. Hold on. Put it on the screen. Hold on. This Prius. You're, uh-uh. No, I'd rather not go on a date. I'm sorry. I already know the type of person you are. Like, I can tell by the car you drive what kind of person you're going to be. Wait, I'll show you another. And this is for the boys, too. If y'all drive these cars, you need to reevaluate yourself. Because, anyways, let me show you another car. The only person that should drive this is my 90-year-old grandpa. That's the only person. Okay, hold on. One more. I've got one more. be for real also this picture makes me laugh but like why did you get that yo 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 what up what up what up it's your boy ty x worldwide now check this out you want to avoid women who judge you by external things Let's go to the TikTok video. She said if a guy picks her up in a certain kind of car for a date, she's not going because the car you drive tells a lot about you. You see, women like this don't really like you. They don't care nothing about you. They just care about what you have. That's all they care about. This is why she worried about what car you drive, what you do for work, where you stay at, what's your status on social media because they care about things that don't really matter. And that's what it boils down to a lot of these women. They don't care about nothing of substance. They care about stuff that means nothing. And I'm telling you right now, guys, do not go out here buying all these external things thinking that that's going to make you get women. Don't let these women try to make you feel guilty by the kind of car you drive. I don't care what it is, bro. She talking about some, oh, if you pull up in a Toyota Prius, I ain't rocking them. Guys, listen up. If you drive a Toyota Prius, you better be happy. You better be proud. Take good care of your car because guess what? A lot of people don't even have a car. And it be these same women that be talking that talk, but they cars be raggedy. She'll sit up there and tell you, oh, your car this, your car that, but your car ain't nothing either. <laughs> like, and I see that all the time. She's be talking mad crazy. I'm like, look at your car. And it's not just with cars. This is anything in life, bro. Stop letting these women talk down on you for anything you're doing. I don't care if you work at a fast food restaurant. I don't care if you stay in a studio apartment. Whatever you have, be thankful for it because there's somebody else who wish they had what you had. If she don't like you in a Toyota Prius, she's not going to like you in a BMW. It is what it is. Don't let these women try to gas you up and say, oh, you got to go out here and get all this money, get all this stuff so that I can like you. No, they just tell you that so they can use that stuff. That's what they're telling you. They're telling you that so they can use you. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying don't go get those things. Yes, you want, if you want that, go get it. But get it for yourself. Get it because that's what you want. But don't get it thinking that, okay, I'm going to get it to get these women. That's what a lot of guys go wrong at. No, get it for yourself. Build yourself up. Do it for you. Do everything for you, not for no woman. Because when you do it for a woman, you're operating wrong. You, you set yourself up to be used. That's all you're doing. And here's the funny thing. They'll see a dude with money who got his life in order. And you know what they'll say? Well, that don't impress me. You see? You see the game? So if you don't have money, they will say, oh, you broke, you dusty, you this and you that. But if you got money, they'll turn around and tell you, well, that don't impress me. This is why I tell you guys, stop seeking a validation. Because they will always find a way to bring your confidence down. And that's what it boils down to. They want to bring your confidence down. No. This is what I tell you guys, you have to be right from within. Guys, I'm me regardless. I don't care if I have a, a, a Toyota Prius. I don't care if I stay in a one-bedroom shack. I don't care what it is. I'm going to always be confident. I'm going to be me. You never going to know. You never going to know. You're going to be like, dang, what do you do? What, what, what you have? Because you never going to know because my confidence is going to always be up there. I don't let external things boost my confidence. I don't operate like that. I don't care if I got zero dollars in the bank account or if I got a million dollars in the bank account. I'm going to always be me. External things don't define me. And that's how you got to be, man. Stop letting people gas you up thinking you got to have all this stuff to, 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 to feel important. No, man. You need to be confident at all times. All that stuff is just add-ons. But it all starts from the foundation, who you are as a person. And I'm willing to bet you, shorty, in that video, she's banging a dude right now who probably don't have no car. I'm willing to bet you. I'm willing to bet you she's having a relationship with a dude right now who don't got no car. But she'll tell you, you got to have a nice car. Guys, stop trying to impress these women, man. Because when you try to impress them, you're never going to win. You are not here to impress these women. You need to only impress yourself. Now, we're about to get into this next video. But before we do that, today's video was sponsored by Teach Hanley. You heard me talk about them before. You're going to keep hearing me talk about them because I know the positive impact their products will have on your 
life. Seriously, I still don't think some of you believe me when I tell you how much implementing a quality skincare routine will improve your confidence in all aspects of your life. T. Chanley makes taking care of your skin super easy. I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer. And to make it simple for guys like you and me, they provide us with instruction cards in every box that tells you when to use each product and how much to use and in what order. Taking care of your skin is very important and will help boost your confidence and T. Chanley will help you do that. But you don't have to just take my word for it because they have over 7,000 five-star reviews from customers all around the globe. In addition to amazing skin, members of T. Chanley gets tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And because T. Chanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description box and you'll get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. Guys, do not miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. <laughs> Just imagine that you're about to get married and the night before you find out your woman is talking to her ex. This is why I am not getting married, bro, and I don't promote it on my channel. And I bet you when she was talking to her ex, she was like, you the one I really want to be with. You the one I really want to marry. I really don't want to marry this dude. I'm just doing it because, you know, he got the he he, he got the security. He got the finances. He, he's a safe guy, but I really don't want him. I really want you. Matter of fact, she probably hooked up with him. You never know, guys. I'm telling you, bro, I seen stuff like this. Guys, I'm telling you, in the military, I seen stuff even worse, man. I'm telling you, bro, married women be doing the most dirt. This is why I'm not getting married. I'm not doing it. I know how these married women operate, bro. They be playing dirty, man. Guys, listen up. When I was deployed, all the women that was married was getting dug out by another dude on deployment. I'm telling you, bro, they was all getting ran through and came back from deployment acting like nothing ever happened. I'm like, wow. <laughs> like, yo, if only your husband knew what you was doing. This is why I said, man, I don't trust him, bro. I don't trust him. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not doing it. I'm not getting married. But me personally, I think that was a good thing that happened because now he ain't got to marry her. Now he can say, you know what? I ain't got to put myself in that position for me to be with you forever. He just dodged a bullet. I downloaded Hinge because I thought it was the safest of the apps and I was wrong. It's not safe there. Don't download it. But I've never been in a relationship and my last remaining ally decided to get a boyfriend during lockdown. And so I downloaded Hinge and on Hinge, you can pick a prompt. And the prompt that I picked was, what's something that you're most proud of? So I was like, oh, this is easy. My, my food list, because I had a list on my notes app of all the mom and pop shops in the area, and I ranked them out of five. Girl, that got more reactions than any picture I posted of myself. At the time, I was like, why am I even scared of an app? Maybe I'm secretly good at this. Maybe I'm secretly good at dating apps. This is why they say coaches don't play, because it wouldn't be fair for the rest of the team. You know what I mean? I ended up matching with someone. He goes, I'm new to the area. I would really like to try your list. Within 24 hours of us matching, he finds me on Instagram and then we start texting, okay? Looking back, that's probably too fast and a little weird. But at the time, I was just like, you're so good at this. You can't even control your power. Next day, he texts me at work and he goes, I really want to try a new place tonight. Do you have any recommendations? And I go, there's this Mexican food place that's supposed to be really good, but I haven't tried it yet and I'm busy tonight. So can we do this weekend? I send the text and I don't think anything of it. I guess six hours passed. I don't even realize until he texts me back and he goes, oh, I was actually asking because I wanted to try a new place tonight. I wasn't asking if you wanted to come with me, but I ended up trying the place and it was really good. You were right. So if you want to try that later, you should. <laughs> What am I to you? Yelp? What is this? I went to Instagram, unfollowed him, deleted his number, and I was like, I don't need this negativity in my life. I don't need to be reminded of this at all. And then the next day I got this. And then I deleted the app and I've never downloaded one again. So if you ever feel bad about where you are relationship-wise, 
Don't. I'm not going to lie. That was a nice comeback because he knew she was on some bull crap. He knew she wasn't busy. He said, I bet you want to play them games? I'm going to go out to eat by myself and I'm going to let you know how it was. And that's what you got to do, man. Stop letting these women tell you they busy and now you want to not do anything. No, still go have fun. Let them know that ain't nothing slowed up. And once again, what have I always told you? They get mad when you go have fun with them after they reject you. I always say this in my videos. They get mad when you move on. They get mad when you want to play their games. They get mad when you see through them. Bottom line, guys, just focus on yourself. Continue to elevate and only deal with the women that want to deal with you. Point blank, period, all right? It's your boy, Ty X Worldwide, man. I hope you got the message in this video. Just like all my videos, there's a message in there. Y'all already know what to do, man. Like, comment, subscribe.